Yo, 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 guys, welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. Today, I'm going over Casper Recon Drone and how you can use it to gain XP really, really fast and also unlock his really high tier one epic skin, which is 8,000 kills. And now I've only been using this strategy for about three to four games. I'm already a fourth of the way there. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. Also, a large portion of people who watch my videos are not subscribed, so make sure to subscribe. It's free. You can always change your mind. And without further ado, let's jump straight into it. Now, I'm going to briefly go over Casper and why people may not play him at first or why the drone is effective in this way of gaining XP and get, unlocking a skin at the same time. So here we go. So Casper is not really played that much because his ability is a drone and you have to actually be in the drone to actually spot people and scout for your uh, team. But in this... If you scout with the drone, like personally, you get 5 XP per spot. So if you spot a full team, you get 20 XP. You might, you might think that's not a lot, but when you can you can spot constantly. So every like 5 to 10 seconds, they will go unmarked, and then you can remark them again with the same squad. Now imagine there's 3 to 4 squads there. You're gaining like 1,000 XP per scan, and... That's adding up over the course of the game when you're constantly spawn it, spot, uh, spotting things for your team. And the drone only has 100 health, but it's so small of a target that it's really hard to hit. So you can pretty much last forever. And also another thing about the drone is you can basically scout like a whole objective ahead. You can be on like, say, Hourglass and be on B2 and you can be like laying in B2 and you can scan all the way to B1 while being in B2, like without even moving. Your drone has a, a super long range connection to your actual tablet that you actually use to lay down and allows you to not be able to die. And so you can continue to spot forever, basically. Now, how you can use this uh, to unlock the skin is obviously you need 8,000 kills by enemies and assists. So basically, um, you just spot people near your teammates so they can kill them. And then if you spot them in general, they'll, they'll count towards it too. So, And also another thing for XP is normal kills are 50 XP per kill. And when, when another teammate kills uh, the person you spotted, they uh, you also get 50 XP. So essentially you're getting a kill while also gaining 5 XP on top of it. So basically you're getting a free 5 XP for spotting the person and then your teammate killing them. So basically spot near any of your teammates that are going to possibly kill somebody and boom, you have already 5 XP more than your teammate that just killed the person. And then you can do that throughout the match and you can do that with, there's no really range besides when you go out of range, which is too far. So like I said, it's a very long range. And so I want to show you some gameplay on how to actually use it. So without further ado, let's jump straight into the gameplay. Now I find the most effective game mode to play this in to gain constant XP and is spot people in general is to play breakthrough because most of your the team that you're fighting is going funneled through one objective or multiple and you can easily sit on one of the other points and when they're getting funneled in you can just scan their whole team and then that is this really fast xp spots because at the uh, middle of the game eventually the team spreads out so it's harder to spot as many people so that's why you want to play breakthrough and not conquest and we got an air so I'll just cut to when I'm actually in the game. Okay, now we're in Kaleidoscope, and I'm going to show you guys how to use the drone effectively. You can already see people are already using this strategy, probably, and it's sitting in the back of the map and just scanning people. So we're going to spawn on... Uh, we're going to spawn A2, but hopefully we get a spawn in the back. Yep, here we go. Basically, you want to go all the way in the back. Make sure you equip a gun, because you will get a, a sensor if someone near you uh, is about to come kill you. Like your actual character. Let me turn on my audio so you guys can hear me better a little bit. So here we go. Just lay down on the back of the map, whatever you button you use. You're just going to hit the button to scan. And then you're just going to go up and then you're just going to left click, which is basically a scan. You can also use right click to zoom in. So here we go. We have some people over here. 5 XP, 50 XP for like the assist. You can see people are starting to shoot my drone. We're going to stay away from the, the rangers, the little dogs, because they have basically aimbot and they will shred you. You can see right now I'm just scanning a whole bunch of people and just getting 5 XP, 50 XP, because my team is also killing these people that I'm spotting. 
There's more people I'm spotting. There's a guy on the roof over there we can scan real quick. See that? I already have the ribbon unlocked for the, the spotting people. Now you want to do this throughout the whole game, and especially if there's a your their whole team is in a funnel. Like if this we spawn in the halfway through the game. But if we were spot uh, joined in the beginning, all those people that are over there that just walk straight up to the objective like cluelessly, you just scan all of them, and if they die, you get three XP basically. So that's basically the shot. You just want to lay in the back of the map and just scan. And then you see at the bottom the rings that are appearing right now. They will turn red when someone is actually going to come like near your actual character model. And you can do this throughout the whole match, and you'll gain a bunch of XP. You can already see. Um, previously, I was getting 15,000 XP by just playing the, mat the game normally and just, like, not trying to, like, go severely, like, I was doing, like, maybe, like, some 40 kill games, and I was still only getting, like, 15,000 XP. And the first time I tried this strategy, I was getting 30,000 plus. That's all that there is to it, guys. Hopefully this is helpful to you guys and in some way. Use it while I can, because it's probably going to get nerfed in some way for dice, because I don't think... And an assist by a player or your teammate should give you the same amount as a kill. So, enjoy it while you can. Until next time, guys. Peace.